Hey everybody, it's just me LTM. I'm in my laundry today because I am about to try steam blocking for the very first time. If you've watched the previous video that I've just put out, it's uh, the, an unboxing of a garment steamer that I purchased and I purchased it specifically so that I can use it to steam block yarn projects just finished making a shawl for my mum, knitting a shawl for my mum out of acrylic yarn and for acrylic yarns you really need to use steam blocking it seems from all the information I've read and advice and um, views of more experienced people than me you know who you are, thank you very much um, say that wet blocking doesn't really work for acrylic yarns because it is synthetic which is basically it's made made out of plastic and therefore soaking this project in water which you might usually do if you had made a project out of cotton or wool the soaking in soaking in water will make those fibers relax but that doesn't work with acrylic because it's basically plastic and water doesn't have much effect on plastic so I need to steam block this I'm a bit terrified um, I don't trust myself to not touch the fabric with my iron otherwise I could use my steam iron so I bought a garment handheld garment steamer specifically to do this blocking with and I've made a swatch because I don't want to do this for real on my actual shawl that I have just finished knitting today I've just cast it off so I have then gone ahead and knitted myself a little swatch of the same yarn. It's only tiny because that's how much was left on the ball. I'd prefer it to be a bit bigger, but it's big enough to do a test of. You can see it's quite rolled up and certainly in by blocking it should be able to make it sit flat and have really nice drape. So here we go. Fingers crossed. So here's my project. I'm going to be blocking it on a towel. This is just a towel. The uh, the main project I actually have blocking boards that I'm going to put it onto. And the first thing I need to do is pin this out. And in a recent un unboxing video I showed you that I had purchased from my local yarn shop Knit Pearl So two lots of blocking pins. So I have these T pins and I also have this box of um, fancy dancy blocking pins so I'm going to give both of these a try so this is the larger type of blocking pin and my understanding of blocking is that you actually do uh, stretch you use the blocking pins to stretch your garment out just move that up a little bit more so I'm just going to kind of pin that out because this is going into a towel, it's perhaps not, uh, the pins are perhaps not going to attach as sturdily as they will when I put them onto the other project uh, and pin them into those uh, rubbery kind of plastic boards. I'm also going to use some of these um, T pins. Get a few of those out. So be with me while I try and pin this out now my idea is to try and pin this as a straight edge you saw that that was the project is quite curled up and one of the purposes of blocking is to not only open up the pattern of a lace pattern but also to give you straight edges on your project And I've just realized this is potentially going to make it a bit tricky for me because the swatch is so small it's going to make it a bit tricky for me to actually get to the fabric with the steamer but it does seem to move the steam out quite a considerable distance so um, we'll see how we go so here is my project fairly um, roughly pinned out I would have to say I think this is something that you're probably going to get I'm going to get better with over time 
uh, but I'm reasonably happy with how that looks so I'll just give you a close-up so you can see that the top and the bottom are being held out straight whereas previously they were actually rolling in towards each other and I have pinned out the sides so that those sides are pretty much straight so that's the intention of of blocking is to well the intention of the steam blocking is that the steam will then kind of set those fibers in this shape so that it doesn't roll back together once it dries so now here comes the scary part I'm actually going to use my handheld garment steamer to put steam on this item and my understanding is that you need to use quite a lot of steam not just a, a short blast but quite a lot I'll just move it a bit further away from the camera because I don't want the steam to impact the camera hear funny noises that's the garment steamer making it doing its thing here we go Just having a feel. It doesn't feel overly wet as yet, so I'm going to keep going. You'll notice I'm paying particular um, attention to the top and the bottom because they were rolling in substantially. It's feeling quite warm. Uh, obviously has had quite a bit of steam on it. I'm going to keep going, I think. Okay, so I have steamed it considerably and now I need to leave it to dry. So, just straightening out some of those stitches. It's definitely warmed everything up. The pins feel quite warm to touch. So let's come back in a while when this is dry and I'll unpin it and we'll see what happens. Okay, I am really impatient. It has only been a few minutes and I'm going to, it's already quite cool. It has cooled down quite a lot. I'm going to take out some of these pins and see what happens. <laughs> worst comes to worst, I just put the pins back in again. That was a garment steamer that made that noise, not me. And look at that, I've unpinned that and that is sitting there flat. That's one of the edges that was totally rolling in towards the middle. So. Wow, that's looking amazing already. I'm quite surprised, as you can probably tell from my voice. Wow, look at that. It's just sitting there flat. All right, I'm going to keep taking out the rest of these pins. And the yarn is just staying in that shape as you can see it's just sitting flat when I first put that down on the towel both of these sides were rolled into the middle it would not sit flat like this I'm very surprised wow and when I pick it up it's it's wow wow look at that <laughs> sorry I'm <laughs> I'm really surprised it worked. I don't know why I'm surprised it worked. But it's me, you know, things often don't go right. <laughs> so I'm just really surprised. That seems to have worked amazingly well. You can see that that's, it's not trying to roll in the least little bit. In the least. The edge is not that perfect, but you know what? I pinned it very roughly. I could have been a lot more precise with that and these pins have a these blocking pins have holes in the edge and what you can do is thread a piece of yarn through that 
and then with a darning needle or a yarn needle, just come through and pick up uh, the bottom loop all the way along the bottom and then that whole row will be kept in line by the thread and kept you know in a in a proper line rather than if you pin a if you use pins in individual ones you can perhaps pull them out of line uh, but if you thread a piece of yarn through there and then keep it taut at both ends it will be evenly spaced so wow i'm really wrapped with this that garment steamer was a very good investment at just fifty dollars was on special forty nine dollars actually so look at that and it's you know it hasn't i haven't melted the fabric the fabric is still quite soft perhaps not quite as soft as it was before but i am i am absolutely wrapped with that result fantastic so if you're frightened about steam blocking acrylic, don't be. Because if I can do this, you can do this too. So big gulp. Now I need to block the shawl that I've made for my mum. <gasps> will I make a video? Mm, maybe I will. But this is fantastic. That's it for me. I'm so pleased about this. Have you, have you had any bad experiences with blocking? Tell me. I want to hear your family stories. They help us all to learn and grow. So don't be frightened. Thanks for watching. Bye.